What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux. Today, we're going to be talking about Anne Lee, who I think has probably the best ult in the game, right? Let me know in the comment section who you think is better. But we're going to be going over her kit, everything you guys need to know, and specific team members that you want to pair her with. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so Anne Lee is going to be a six-star plant support character. Um, she also um, can be a DPS as well because she just puts out a really good amount of damage. She has a universal buff uh, buff in her kit, which makes her very versatile for many units, right? So let's go ahead and go over her skills. So her ultimate scientific ghost bust or mass attack deals 400% reality damage to all enemies. The caster um, enters in power incantation one status for two rounds. What this does is when a round begins... A random incantation will gain plus one star. This is really powerful, especially for those of you who have been asking me if you want to use um, Anna Lee as like a main DPS. This allows her attack to get random um, plus two. Um, this allows the buffs and times to get um, upgraded. And it's just honestly really strong um, for being able to gain Moxie with her ult, get the extra incantations in your bus. Like, you know, and so where you're using less. AP because like the skill is already upgraded. It's really strong, honestly. Um, her attack, Talus Rune, single target attack deals 200% reality damage. When you get it up to level three, it's going to be a single target attack that deals 350% reality damage, but it's going to inflict day status for one round, and that's going to stun the targets where they cannot act. Now her buff, it's a mass buff, meaning it hits everybody. It's going to give a damage dealt 15% um, buff, and then in it's going to lower the damage taken by 15% for allies last two rounds. Very similar to Sinetto, right? Very, very similar. Um, as you level it up, it'll get stronger to where it's 20%, 20% uh, extra damage, 20% lower, and then it's going to be 30% more damage, 30% lower uh, damage taken, right? Let's go ahead and look at her insights, which are really good as well. Um, so when a round starts, switches between break time and exorcism time statuses, when the caster enters exorcism time status, the caster's rightmost incantation gets plus one star. Um, and so it'll tell you here, break time, damage taken, reduction plus 10%, cannot be dispelled. Exorcism time, damage bonus plus 10%, penetration rate plus 10%, cannot um, be dispelled. For insight two, damage dealt plus 8% when the caster enters battle. And then in site three, enhance break time effect, damage taken, reduction plus 15%. And exorcism time damage bonus plus 15%, and the penetration rate plus 15%. So it just kind of makes her more of a DPS. Um, honestly, just gives her more damage penetration rate. So where she can do um quite a bit of damage, which is really good for her kit, especially if you're having her buff everybody and making her a sub DPS, right? All right, guys. And so when it comes to her resonance, she's going to take the support path. I have this in my Discord. I urge everybody who cares about wanting to build their characters, get more information. You join the discord i have it down in the description um and i have this guide laid out and it'll give you a full plan of support it's going to be giving um a lot more um of uh defenses survivability um and then you can tailor it to which uh enemy that you're going to be fighting rather it be reality or mental defense because you need your supports to live right now there is alternative ways that you can build um and in lee you could do a balance way if you want her to be more um, of damage you know if you're wanting to go all the way out you know you could try different things but typically if you're playing her as a support you want to build it that way all right and when it comes to the psy cube it really depends on how you're um building your Ann and lee if you want her to really support your team and add a little bit of extra healing especially your healer is not that strong you have her second life her second life is going to allow her based off of her attack to give um hp to allies right she'll be able to heal her allies because she has a mass ultimate right so that is a good option if you're wanting a little bit more survivability on your team brave new world is going to be really great with her um one because her ult is really strong you have ult might and then whenever you ult you already increase and upgrade your next incantation and then now you're getting a buff of damage this will be a huge amount of damage for Anna and lee if you're wanting to go like the dps route for her um or you're just wanting her to be a sub dps uh, there's also um, his bound in duty. If you want to um, use that, just basically she takes out a target. She can kind of heal herself. Then you're not really having to worry about her. She also gets some damage bonus. So, you know, some other options. Footloose, a good five-star one for free. 
that we got as well. All right, so let's talk about teammates that Annan Lee works well with. Well, because she is a universal buffer, she's gonna work with pretty much everybody um, because she gives a damage dealt buff. Um, most people will um, appreciate a buff like that. Um, she, of course, isn't going to be the best for everybody, but she's always gonna be a solid option for um, any type of team that you make. Um, pretty much because she has a damage dealt buff. She gives good, um, she has good damage. Um, so she will be good. And again, any situation, rather you put her with Centurion, Eternity, um, you do a Gravy's team, anything like that. Now, if you're wanting her to go with damage, um, she is, remember, a reality damage character. So pairing Anne and Lee, Bikure and Bloom together is going to be huge because and then Lee will be able to buff Bikure and Bloom, where Bikure and Bloom has really good single target damage. And Bikure and Bloom will allow Anna and Lee to do more damage with her mass debuff, right? So if you're, again, wanting to kind of go a DPS route with either of these two, they would pair really well. And then you can use characters like Tenet or just like a regular healer, right? But again, with Anna and Lee just being a generally just decent support, um, she's going to be always a solid option. Again, I'm not going to say the best option, but she's always going to be a solid option for most DPS, right? All right, so let's go ahead and go into battle. Show her kit. Let's go ahead and buff everything up. Let's see how much damage she takes, because she's not necessarily the tankiest on my account. It should be fine. Right, so now it's exorcism time. So this got buffed up. Let's go ahead and use it. It's three star already that quickly, right? You can see that. So that's really... That's why, like, her after her ulting, she just kind of gets a little crazy. Even though they are, you know, kind of lowering um, our moxie, it's fine. Let's go ahead and buff ourselves. We got another three-star ability pretty much for free. Buffed up. Let's go ahead and use this amazing ult. Y'all know it. This ult is sick. Whole Ghostbusters movie. A lot of people say, like, most of the budget of R99 when it's this one. Really good. I love it. Look at, like, how all of our abilities are just, like, really high stars. And just look at how much... Look at how much damage he does. Like, mine is not even leveled up that much. And just look at that. We are already got two threes. Like, it's... It's really crazy, guys. If you want to build her again, like support DPS, like she can do it. She's really solid. All right, guys. So that's all I have for Anna and Lee. Again, she's a great support and can also be a DPS or sub DPS if you want. A really awesome addition to your kit if you have her. Um, again, she's going to be like a six star version of Sonetto. So if you don't have her, don't freak out too much because there's other characters that go for specific teams. Like, you know, Picard and Bloom is still a good option. But Anna and Lee, again, is going to be a universal character. So I do think that she is worth leveling on your accounts if you have her. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you uh, enjoy Anna Lee, let me know down in the comment section how great Anna Lee has been on your account and how you use her. Um, hit the like button if you watched all the way to this part because obviously you liked the video. And sub to the channel while you're at it um, because we're dropping R99 content all the time. Um, and I go live pretty much every day and we have a great time there in the lives. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. You lucky gamers, have a good one. Lucky Lux out.